42 of Liquor and Lyrics, the podcast that comes to you every week in your podcast players and takes a look back at some dark, dark moments from musical history. Yes, every week we have a drink and look at a song that, usually, in most cases, is pretty popular, but has some dark, disturbing, or just lyrics that wouldn't fly anymore. With me, Nick, and joining me, a man who has a longer bath time than Whitney Houston, let's face it. It's Dan. Hello, Dan. Hello. I hate baths. Despise them. I've been through this you before. Like You're bath? just stewing in your own filth. I don't like it. No, I hate baths. It's disgusting. Yeah, it's disgusting. With a woman? Sure. Although I don't think it's as glad. It has to be a big bath. Bigger baths than you usually have. You know what I mean? You need like a hotel bath and... or something. To be a woman. I don't like a normal sized bath with another person. And as a gentleman, like we are, then you're going to end up at the tap end, aren't you? Yeah, exactly. That's going to hurt. And then uh, people are like, I've tried baths before, and people are like, it's relaxing, read. I love reading. You know, I love reading. But in a bath, and then the book gets a bit wet, and, uh, you know, you get your hands getting wet. It's, it's all an ordeal. Yeah. I can't be dealing with it. It's just yeah, sitting yeah, there, man, filth. Yeah. But speaking of being in filth, hey. <laughs> smooth, this, this week, smooth. <laughs> this week's song is a interesting one i think it's i think you, you put it quite right when you said it's the song that people have been probably been expecting us to cover since we started the podcast yeah 32 episodes in we have finally bowed to public pressure the song of course is is wap or for the layman's in the room wet ass pussy as or you know. for the people who grew up in the early 2000s in the room mobile internet <laughs> yeah and it's obviously it's a song by cardi b but not alone. She couldn't handle such filth on her own. She had to bring uh, <laughs> an, another seasoned pro in the filth department, of, uh, <laughs> Megan the Stallion, into uh, two artists that we have. Have we done a Megan the Stallion? Was she? Have we done a Megan the Stallion song before? No, we haven't. Have we? No. I mean, we. I'm surprised. No, we will eventually. I obviously, I would imagine we will eventually. Yeah. I, I feel like she might have featured. I feel like I've said her name for some reason before. Maybe. I think she's mentioned on, on the Anaconda episode, quite possibly. Perhaps, yeah. Yeah, so we, it's them two doing this one. Well, I'm intrigued to know what song you... Uh, what song? What drink you've brought to this song, actually, with it being this song in particular. I mean, don't be. Just <laughs> I mean, not that you ever try and link it. What I mean is, it'll be interesting for people to hear what drink I've brought to link to this song. That's, I mean, <laughs> that's being, what we're all I was being polite. For, yeah. I was being polite, yeah. I, I, I had to go down a slightly different route than wet ass pussy because if you could imagine my Google search for wet ass pussy cocktail, yeah, 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 it, it was difficult to to get. You know, I'd have to turn safe search on and then search, and I'm not prepared to do that. So because that just ruined my other searches later. So yeah, yeah, she's got a lot to answer for, Cardi B. Yeah, let, let's say what you brought does, then. Here's an idea, a wild idea. Do you want to play the song first? Oh yeah. See, and normally then, and then we I'll do the that. requisite jingles. But yeah, let's have a listen to this. Filth. Clean, but let Aye. me tell you, I got Aye. this ring. Gobble me, swallow me, drip down the side of me. Quit yeah. jump out for you, let it get inside of me. I tell yeah. them where to put it, never tell them where I'm about to be. I run down on them before I have a nigga running me. Talk your shit, fight your zip. Yeah. Ask for a call while you ride that dick. Why you really ain't dick. never got him fucking for a thing. He already made his mind up before he came. Now get Aye. your boots, hang your coat, fuck this wet ass pussy. He bought a phone just for pictures of this wet ass pussy. Pay my tuition just to kiss me on this wet ass pussy. Now make it rain if you want. I love this. I love the lyrics to this. I said to my girlfriend earlier, I said, Did she? I was like, I can't believe some lyrics to that. And she went, yeah, they, like kids sing that as well. And I was like, what? She was like, kids love it. So I did TikTok on that. And then she was like, they play it on the radio. It's like uncensored. She was like, yeah, because it's not technically doing any swearing. I was like, bloody hell. I feel like an old man. Oh, I prefer it to Anaconda it because that had no beat or anything. At oh, least this has summit yeah. to it. I mean, it's not a high bar that I'm setting with no. that, but you know. No. No, I, I, I don't I, mind. I prefer, it. it makes I prefer having jump leads connected to my ass to connected to my cock. You know, it's it's that sort of thing. That's one of the lyrics, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? It's not far off. Shall we? Uh, let's do we throw what drinks we're bringing. Alcohol. Alcohol. Right. So I have tonight my. My brother came home from work last Friday night carrying a big box that I assumed was food for the cats. It wasn't food for the cats. It was a box of beers uh, that some customer from work had given him for doing some work that he already get, got paid for doing. What does he uh, do? It's a cra- He's a joiner. Ah, nice. Got a trade? Yeah, yeah. 
He spends all day messing with wood, which is something <laughs> I was not doing after listening to this song. Um, so, so do you, yeah, but so you're on the is... doll. <laughs> <laughs> so this is um, this is from Boland Brewery in Lancashire, and it's a Ooh. Bavarian style pilsner. I do like a German beer because the Germans have this 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 thing of serving them in big. Mm. What they call what Steins. are the things called, Dan? Steins. Steins. There we go. Well done. It's Oktoberfest. Um, <laughs> exactly. That's why I asked you. As our German correspondent, that's German correspondent. Um, Hans. Oh, so, that's so, sure. so essentially, because they because they do such big servings of them, it's not too gassy. I don't like a dead gassy lager. I don't feel like I can drink loads of it. But there's yeah, a gluten free Bavarian style pilsner, four point six percent. I'm a big fan. Oh. I have several over the weekend. Oh, Hans. Hans doesn't like it when the big Steins. I'm too gassy afterwards. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that meant. <laughs> oh, a, a, well, a, a, nice, yeah. a wet ass beer for the wet ass pussy. So I, I like I say, the wet ass pussy cocktail search was was difficult. So I went down the Cardi B route, and I found that she did a video for a brand for something she was launching called the Cardi Rita, which is a Cardi B margarita which is uh, ice, obviously. It's tequila, which I got to put three shots of Patron in, lime juice, and uh, she put orange liqueur in it. So I added some, I didn't have orange liqueur, but I added some orange flavoring and some liqueur. But yeah, it's very good. I would recommend it. It might become a drink of this summer, I think, based off how good it is. So, a cardi, a cardi rita. Well, you're going to get fully, fully into Cardi B's discography and stuff now, aren't you? That's going to be it now for the summer. <laughs> It's not that strong a drink. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll see how the margarita goes. <laughs> well, life's not going to unravel. Do you want some information on the song? Yes, I do. WAP, or Wet Ass Pussy, is a song by American rapper Cardi B featuring American rapper Megan The Stallion. It was released on August 7th, 2020 through atlantic as the lead single lord yeah as the lead single from cardi b's upcoming second studio album musically it is a hip-hop song driven by heavy bass drum beats and a sample of frank ski's single whores in the house with sexually explicit lyrics which made it gain popularity the song reached the top of the us billboard hot 100 so it's this 90s song by frank ski that the sample in there with the whores in the house after shelving a demo of the song in 2019, Cardi B revisited the song during COVID-19 lockdowns, recording additional verses, and decided to turn it into a collaboration with Megan. It became the first female rap collaboration to debut atop the US Billboard Hot 100 and had the largest opening streaming week for a song in US history. History. It gave Cardi B her fourth number one single and Megan her second in the US. The single spent four non-consecutive weeks atop the chart and spent multiple weeks at number one in several other countries. WAP became the first number one single on the inaugural Billboard Global 200, topping the chart for three weeks, and it earned the 11th position on IFPI's year-end singles charts. As of September 2023, the song was certified eight times platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America. Cardi B and Megan performed the song at the 63rd Annual Grammy Awards, leading to over a thousand viewer complaints being sent to the Federal Communications Commission. Social conservative, <laughs> social conservative politicians and pundits objected to the song for its sexually explicit lyrics and the ensuing discourse fueled by the song's impact. Well, that makes me like it more, to be honest, if it's upsetting those cunts. Please like, rate, review and follow to help push us up the charts. Get in touch with us at any of the links in the episode description or email liquorandlyrics at gmail.com. Before we get um, into listening to the song and things, I just wanted to say we've... We we really trying to grow this, and we appreciate the support. We've had quite a few new followers. We've so please, if you could promote, perhaps share our social post every week, or tell people about it that you think might have a similar sense of humour, or if you go on like forums or something like that, post it in there or something. I don't know, but but if you could share us as much as you can, we're going to start advertising soon, and uh, we really would appreciate the push because we think this has legs to go somewhere, doesn't it? Filthy legs. You sound this... genuine there. I did, didn't I? It was good, that, yeah, wasn't it? That's, yeah, that's, yeah. Hell, that's mental. Now, now be... I know how you're in a happy relationship. Yeah, well, now pe- I know how it happened. <laughs> People will be really impressed by my acting skills, but they won't know which one of them is the acting version. 
Is he acting when he's doing the, the, the dark depraved stuff, or is he acting when he's doing the genuine stuff? And you'll never know. Yeah, so it opens with... Whores in this house, there's some whores in this house, there's some whores in this house, there's some whores in this house. Hold up. Hold up. Actual whores? Yes, I'm, I'm presuming so. And uh, how many? Because, I mean, it's an unspecified amount. At least if two. If I've got whores in the house, I tend to know how many I've got in. Usually zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'd think you would know, wouldn't you? How many? Just some. Dan, how many whores have you got in your house? Some. That means you've got a lot and you don't care. You've got whores rolling in and out. A pimp's house only, yeah, really, it wouldn't it be? Really? Regular thing. Yeah. Actually, a pimp what would a know pimp how many. He's running a business, isn't he? he he's, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. If a pimp doesn't know, then we've got issues. <laughs> yeah, he's a bad pimp. A pimp runs away. <laughs> say what you will about pimps, they run a well oiled ship. That's what I was saying. They run yeah. a good machine. Like the Nazis. Pimps and Nazis, very similar. Evil, yes. but they do, yeah. they do a good job at what they do. Efficient. Is it sexually liberating to take the word and call it yourself, even if it's disparaging? Because the whole part of the song is is that they're much like Anaconda. It's like sexually liberating to women. They're they're saying what they want for once, rather than men dictating it. And in that sense, I guess that's correct. But calling yourself a whore is that is that like do you know what I mean? Is that liberating, or are you just calling yourself a whore? Well, it's a man saying it as well, so that probably takes away some of the effect. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, in the sample, yeah. That well, is that, weird, isn't it? Is that how far can you go with it? Why don't you get it? another female rapper to it? Why don't they get, uh, well, Nicki Minaj? Nicki Minaj. There might be a few, <laughs> I don't know. the other female rapper. Yeah, yeah we've, <laughs> we've done all three of them now. Um, but it's, it's going from whores in this episode. Are they going to extend it to, like, oh, there's some women with yeast infections in this house? Because it's a fine line. Well, I imagine there's, there's, there's a lot of whores in there. Their word. Then yeah, there's going to be a lot of a lot of stuff flying around. You know, things previously mentioned on this podcast, such as crabs, AIDS, crabs, yeah. yeast infections, and the rest. One of those <laughs> isn't as bad as the other two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of them's easily dealt with and makes you just a bit itchy. One of them, although now you can just take a pill, can't you? A day and it's fine, isn't it? Or something. They've sorted it, haven't they? We 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 dealt with AIDS, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Fill your boots, do what you want. Don't rubber up. They don't let me talk at schools anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is not a pro. Was it? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was a pro AIDS talk. I said certified freak seven days a week. Now, what I like about this is the use of the word certified. Imagine so, that as a process, like a guy with a clipboard turns up, just just knocks on the door. Um, yeah. Oh, hi, hi. Yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm here to certify. Some freaks? Have these are some freaks here that we need certifying? That oh oh yeah, come in, come in. <laughs> He's like right. So um, I have I have several questions. Um, so um, e- easy one to start with. Have you ever had sex before? Yeah yeah yeah. Okay, times a week, eight eight. What? Well, well, yep. It's a good start. That's a good start to the certification. That um, sorry, not eight times a week, eight times a day. Oops. Even Minaj wasn't doing those numbers. Any vanilla disease in the past month? Oh, eight. Eight as well. So one from each. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, what other questions would be on the, the freak list? <laughs> the freak questions to be certified. Have we ever used a stiletto heel to smash the car window of an ex-boyfriend? Yes. Right. Ooh. Yes, yeah. Do you, I, do, you not, do you think there's a difference between freaks and, and what you might call a, not my term, bunny boiler? Or do you think it's the I same think, ballpark? I think it's a fine line. Mm. I, th- I think they're the same ballpark. Because I think, I think she's a sexual who, freak. You know, like on Amazon? You know, like on Amazon where it's like people who looked at this item also looked at this item? That. Right. Basically I think... That. Yeah, okay. I see what you're saying. But I think Frank from the Freak Certifying Office, the FCO, <laughs> would only specifically be there to certify her for sexual freakiness, not... Yes, any other so, acts yeah. so yeah that's someone else yeah. that's john he's more depressed <laughs> anal are we throwing anal in there uh yeah yes alan yes i'm 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 before, almost I'm exclusively anal. yes and and just confirm yes i do put the condom on with my arsehole excellent excellent two ticks two ticks <laughs> oral yep yeah, have to have to okay that, that's good that's good to know um yeah and then he'd say Approved. Double stamp, I imagine. Uh, this license is certified to be used seven days a week. Excellent. Not everyone gets that either. <laughs> Even on the Sabbath? Usually not. 
but you've been certified in our platinum freak level, so fill your boots. Fill your boots on God's day. We're happy with it. And There's a blue badge to put on your car as well when you want to park up. <laughs> but, oh, to pull up to have sex. If you need to pull up and done sorry, <laughs> yeah, yeah, have sex, yeah. put the blue. Yeah. No, it's a it's a pink badge <laughs> for that. <laughs> good, good for her. She got certified. It's a difficult process, so good for her. Yeah, the FCO are not easy. Yeah. I tried when I was single, but did not even get close, it turns out. Did not even get close. She then then goes on to say, Wet ass pussy make that pull out game weak. Woo. Seems a bit about it. So her pussy is so deliciously wet that you would struggle to pull out in time and would just give in to the desire to spunk inside of it, is what she's saying there. I'm imagining, I'm imagining this just being like a booking bronco. And you've just got no control over the whole process, just all over the place. He's probably slipping and sliding out of there like nobody's business. But it would have to. I mean, it's obviously particularly feels good if if you just got no control on being able to pull out. You just got no hope of being able to get it out because it's so good. You would you couldn't you couldn't pull out before you reached climax. You know that you know that sort of haphazard game that you can play. <laughs> I guess can't, can't, everyone's favorite Saturday night game show for all the family. When you're a kid, when you try not to walk on the lava on the playground, like the adult version, you got to get <laughs> out. And then, but with this is so good. This feels so good that you just know. You just go. You just go. I don't care. I didn't want kids, but there we go. Or, what will be, will be. <laughs> then on to, yeah, 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 yeah. You fucking with some wet ass pussy. Bring a bucket all, and a mop. All the while. Oh. <laughs> so, you can't interrupt me during that sentence. Bring a bucket and a mop for this wet ass pussy. Greatest lyric in anything. Lennon McCartney, stand down. We have got the greatest <laughs> lyric of all time there. A bucket and a mop. She's made it very industrial. Imagine how wet that would be. <laughs> Imagine you you fuck her and you pull out. But you, as you fuck it in, just slops of water coming out. Just slops of juice just splashing onto the floor. You just pull it in and out. You're drenched, obviously, in the crotch area. Your feet, your legs, all soaking. Uh, just, just, it's sloppy. Just, <laughs> like, imagine that. So, just onto the floor, and he's well, like, this is getting everywhere. It's getting slippy. She's like, well, you should have brought a mop then. Well, the very fact she's gone straight for the bucket and mop, there's no suggestion of putting a towel down. There's no, 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 oh, no, you need. Like, oh, there's not a towel. A I was like, no, no. Mate, there's not a towel thick enough, apparently. I mean, you know, you need several. You need someone changing the towel every two minutes underneath you, like a butler, a sex butler, <laughs> just changing the towel every time. <laughs> Imagine if you did turn all, all up the while that. while this is All the while while this is going on, someone's announcing that there's some whores in this house. We should just bear in mind that's still going <laughs> that's on. That's the, the butler. The butler's, as he changes the towel, he's going, there's some <laughs> yeah. whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. In this house. Master Wayne. Sir, I'm imagining, Je I'm, no, I'm imagining Jeffrey out of um, Fresh Prince. You, you've gone for that Michael Caine in Batman Begins. <laughs> I, yeah, but imagine if you did turn up with the mop, because the insinuation here is that you have to mop it up after you, so you fucked her. You've, she's made a mess everywhere from the from the juice, but apparently you've had an amazing time, so, you know, whatever. And then you have to you finish, and she's like, oh, on the bed. And you're just like, she's like, clean it up then. And you're just like, right, with your sort of ever limping dick as the second as the seconds progress, get in the mop and the bucket and just mopping up under her. She's like squidging it out into the bucket. It's like, what's taking so long? The mop isn't big enough. I didn't bring enough big enough mop. <laughs> Have you got one of those flash mops with a little spray on it? It'd really, it'd really help with the stench. <laughs> Next time, I'm going to bring one of those industrial floor cleaners. <laughs> Imagine the poor janitor in the whole house. If every woman's doing this, oh, just working for retirement. But but at least he's not going to be rusty going around having to pick condoms up constantly. So that's, that's something. <laughs> Would you rather be all the activities oh, described you in this song are bareback? Would you rather be having to pick up? condoms after every encounter in the whole house or having to mop up the fluids after every encounter because i think and squidging it out and then putting them up again i think i'd rather just pick up the occasional johnny with a stick or something it's not occasional <laughs> it's not oh occasional. if i was a and if i was a janitor whole house one of the tools i'd have in my arsenal would be like like a pair of like you know turning meat over what they called 
like a tweezer. Tongs. Oh, one of the grabbers, yeah. Tongs or something. Just just tongs and then just in a bin bag and just, yep, there we go. Putting that in there. Yeah, but then you're still going to have to bend down. If you go for a litter picker, you can do it while you're stood up. It's fine. But the thing is, I don't <laughs> imagine these men are tying the condoms in a knot when they're finished. So if you don't pick it up at the right angle, then you're spilling the jizz out onto the floor. And then you're still going to have to do some mopping. So you're making, making a rod for your own back here. <laughs> no, because I don't think if you pick it up upwards, you wouldn't have to get the jizz anywhere, would you? If you pick it up correctly, you get you get the hang of it. I imagine. I uh, here's, here's the thing though. What what if you're environmentally conscious? Do you have to wash out the condom like you do a, like a tin of beans after you've used it and then put no, it in the not recycling? Being recycled. Who's who's putting condoms <laughs> in the recycling? You take all that all that. <laughs> All that material, you could have a nice, I don't know, rainproof coat come the winter. I know, but it's not. It's <laughs> not a thing, though, is it? Imagine that I'd... was. Oh, don't forget to put the don't forget to put the bins out. Which one? Uh, paper, uh, the car, the cardboard and paper one, and oh, the Johnny bin needs to go out as well. Little when I was eight, you have any kitchen? <laughs> when I was eight, yeah, the Johnny bin. <laughs> What's that? A pink bin again? A pink bin outside. I know. I used to when I was eighteen. I used to clean them out. Give each one to my grandma, and come winter, I'd have a lovely. Uh, or come August, I'd have come a winter. lovely. Uh, <laughs> I'd have a lovely sort of waterproof shawl to wear at festivals. And come winter is what you call it. So yeah, the come, the come winter range by grandma. Oh, yeah. I used <laughs> I used to flush condoms down the toilet because I assumed that was uh, that was what you did with them. That was that was good in my first house share. That that was all <laughs> when my uh, housemate's I girlfriend remember. came round and screamed. <laughs> I remember. It's not as bad as when I threw, used to throw them in a, a wicker basket in a bedroom at an ex's house, and then a mum sat her down because the dog had thrown up one of my condoms. <laughs> True story. Straight in the wicker basket in the bedroom. Why did I think back now? I think why was I doing that? I was like seventeen. Why was I? Why was I just throwing them in a wicker basket in the bedroom? That's really grim. That you know, like just one of those ones that doesn't even have a bag in that you just have in the room to throw like bits of paper in and stuff. Just straight in there. <laughs> why was that the place I went? <laughs> at a parent's house. Jesus. You'd have been better oh, off God. just chucking him at the ceiling or something. <laughs> it's <laughs> a dog cat gets him. Grim. She then, but yeah, the poor janitor. Well, it's what a thankless task. Or, or you, just me. You imagine having to come, but bringing him off and bucket with you for sex. Imagine that on the t- when you message on, on Tinder and set it up. She's like, yeah, come round in come round in 15 minutes. I'm absolutely gagging for it. He's like, yeah, should I bring him? She's got a loop. Yeah, c- yeah, condom. Don't bring a condom. Bring him off and bucket. What? Bring him off and bucket. Why? Oh, you'll see. You'll see. I'd do it and I'd be intrigued, probably. (laughs) In my head, I'd be assuming that the broom handle's going up her ass. I'm pulling it out and the fluids that come out are going into the bucket. That's probably where I'd go in my head. Turns out I'd be wrong. I'm glad that's where you've gone. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, it's normally like flowers and wine. You know, if you get invited around somewhere, flowers and wine. No, no, bucket and a mop. Oh, not if it's just a a fuck day off Tinder. You don't bring in flowers and wine. You bring in prophylactics and and a bottle of Hennessy, probably. That sounds a bit. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But... <laughs> yeah, <you> <laughs> I mean, yeah, muff and bucket, bloody hell. And the thing is, that isn't the most. There was a line in this that I actually laughed out loud for four minutes straight, and then I didn't even know what to put. And we haven't even got to that yet because, as I say at the I time, know I don't know what that means. So <laughs> prepare yourself for that. Okay, so give me everything you got for this wet ass pussy. It's not much. I'm sorry to disappoint, but it won't no, be much no. from me. I'm afraid. I'm quite scared right now, Charlie, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I mean, to be honest, if it was... I don't know. I mean, can I would I, would I be too wet to enjoy it? I'm just trying to think. I've got to carry a mop and bucket on the bus. I don't have anything left. I used to, I used to know someone who, who told me that his girlfriend... <laughs> can't say any names, but he told me in a word with him. He told me that he's... His, his girlfriend was always <clears throat> not wet when they were having sex. And he, I was like, really? Like, you know, that's worrying. And he went, no, no, it's okay. She told me she got a medical condition where she can't get wet. And I thought, yeah, that's a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. And ironically, every girlfriend he's had has had the same condition. <laughs> they weren't going out for much longer after that, put it that way. Yeah, I don't think I, I could give everything. But if it was too wet, I think, you know, you give too much and then that's all wet. And you might be too, I don't know. Would you be able to feel more? Or do you think you can tip the edge where you just feel nothing? Because it's so wet. If you had a wank, I've never done it, obviously, but if you had a wank in a swimming pool, do you think you'd be able to feel much? Um, 
Oh, is that aimed at me? Uh, you're, you're I assume the, that you uh, have. Yes. In the swimming pool correspondent. <laughs> no. I don't go in swimming pools. It's full of children with verrucas. Exactly. That was why I assumed you'd... No. So... <laughs> I love dead skin on the feet. <laughs> yeah, it gets me going. So... I, love seeing, I love swimming into other people's plasters. It really, get, really gets me hard. I reckon you might be able to feel it more in the water, actually, because there'd be resistance. So, oh, you know. Ooh. Ooh. Well, all right. So the sea then, not the sea actually, but the uh, uh, like a clear oh, no, water. No. spring water in a swimming pool. In no, like a, like a spring water. You know, like a, a just a spring pool or whatever it's called, like a spring. Yeah, not the one where they get heavy on, hopefully, but they're just one where they like just a spring water where there's no chemicals in it, there's no salt water in it. It's just a nice, nice pool. Would you? The type of place. Well, before the suppose jacuzzi. Jacuzzi would be all right, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. But there might be resistance, I mean. You People have sex in jacuzzis, you don't they? You need to masturbate in a jacuzzi. You just hover yourself over one of the jets and you can proper... If you, if you were to position the head over like, over one of the bubble jets, I think you'd have a right roaring good time. Yeah, I actually think it would be better if she was uber wet. So that, that's good. That's good. So, you know. And look in the lyrics for Shadows and remember that we replaced this word with nicker. That's K-N-I-C-K-E-R. Nicker. Beat it up, nicker, catch a charge. Beat it up, catch a charge. Does that mean, like, fuck her vagina so good, you've beaten it up and you'd get arrested and charged for that? Is that what that means? There's no other way of reading it. <laughs> There's no other way of reading it. Imagine that like, in court. <laughs> slap her tits about first. I mean, <laughs> start with them and see how, see how that feels. But Jesus Christ. Actively encouraging it as well. Charged with one count of vag vaginal beating during consensual sex. <laughs> what am I here for? <laughs> it's in the song she asked me to. <laughs> consensual. It's not my fault if it was just... Yeah, beat it up. Fucking hell. That's, that's an aggressive way to talk about sex, isn't it? Beat it up so good that you'd get arrested for abuse. Fucking hell. Sisters are doing it for themselves. <laughs> imagine that in uh, imagine that in uh, Summer Nights of Greece. And Greece. Like, tell me more, tell me more. It's like, yeah, I twatted a ninja out and I got, got jailed for the weekend. The little, the little, chubby, ra the little chubby rapey one again. Did you, like, tell me more, tell me more. Did you beat up till you got a charge? What? Get out. We're not having this again. Get out. I always knew you were wrong. Fucking you know, hell, Kinnicky. <laughs> Oh, Kaniki doesn't do that. That's a little chubby one. Kaniki just knocks up women and then doesn't see the kid. I know he does, I think, in the end. He comes around, doesn't he? I don't know. But yeah, beat it up. That is, that's a rough sentence, that. Extra large and extra hard. Can it is be extra hard? It's a McDonald's hard? order. Or... <laughs> it's funny you should say that, because that's what I thought of, was a like, ring in a takeaway. Like, hello. It's like, yeah, I just, uh, I believe you've got good, uh, good hard penises. Yep, yep. Could I order one uh, colour? Ooh, probably black, right? Okay. Um, <laughs> Let's face it. I, could I have what size would you like? We've got the ten inch, twelve inch, the fifteen inch. Yeah, but would you like um, any additionals on that? Do you do extra hard? We we do. We do do extra hard. Excellent, excellent. Would you like our beat it until they get charged package with that as well? Oh, yes, that sounds lovely. Excellent. He'll be over in would half you... an hour or less. And you... <laughs> you might back. Oh, it's free. <laughs> would, would you like to? Would you like to upgrade for a cheese crust? No, I would not. <laughs> Absolutely would not. Extra mozzarella. Oh, there'll be extra mozzarella. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> Dripping on the floor. Time to bring a mock and bucket. Actually, <laughs> you do. Do we do a cleaning charge? <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> excellent. See, people say that we again. This is what we always say: that people listen to this and think that we're like extra disgusted, but not us. These songs lead us to it's think the these song. things. I don't go yeah. around thinking these things. Well, I do in a way, but yeah. Can it be extra hard? Because I'm just thinking, like, we obviously you can be harder sometimes than other times. Because like we've all the limit of hard is the limit, right? Like we can all be rock hard, and that's the limit. But what's the extra? Can someone be more than that? Can someone be more than the limit that? the limit that we've experienced could someone go that extra mile with the hardness could you like could you I mean, light a match on it if they do i do not want him stood in front of me on the train when i'm <laughs> when i'm sat on a seat still behind you on the train surely next stop cockfosters <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> she then goes on to say, because, I mean, there's so much. We don't even need to linger. Put this pussy right in your face. He does. Like your... He does with them all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All night sex job, all morning cleanup job. Put this pussy right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. Just once. Because if she wants pleasing well, then she needs to swipe it repeatedly like a card that's been declined. Quite a swift movement, really. Wouldn't wouldn't do too much for you, I think. Just one swipe of the nose and tongue. Just a no, sort of one go. No, it, it is repeated swiping, I think. I think that's right, right, right. Well, she said swipe, so she needs to say... Put this pussy right in your face, swiping your nose like a credit card, not swipe your nose like a credit card because that's misleading grammatically. And that's the main issue with the song. <laughs> Hop on top, I want a ride. Fair enough. I do a Kegel while it's inside. Really See, I don't talking. think that I don't think that would be comfortable for the man too much, would it? Like that kind of if she goes to because a Kegel, you're supposed to go a bit higher with your legs. Like you's not you don't go like you go back we, and... We find a way, Dan. We find a way. Lift up a bit, do we? I didn't know that was on the agenda tweets. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I, I think... Yeah, I think it would be... It would. It, what I'm saying is it would slip out a lot, I think, in that position. Normally, a, ke- a Kegel's best saved for the end because it squeezes you and then you uh, reach a climax. I love how I'm trying to like skirt around it and say it in a nice way. I, I well, it works. <laughs> it works with the whole not being able to pull out thing because you certainly wouldn't be in control of pulling out in that situation. Like, unless you go, unless you quickly, as you, you have to go, avenue. you have to do the, you have to go down the road, the, the difficult and dangerous road of, of just for you finish going, get off, get off. <laughs> in that instance, don't you? Because especially with an upward trajectory, you know. But yeah, okay, okay. Well, if she can make it work, good luck to her. I just have some doubts good on the logistics, but. But yeah, if she was doing a proper Kegel anyway, she might be doing a slightly lower Kegel. That makes more sense. I just thought she was sticking to the actual Kegel rules. But hey, should we should we tweet oh her? My. And ask what I'm type just of Kegel she's doing. Just a Kegel trainer on Sundays. Oh, I, <laughs> I guess what do I know? Spit! <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Bit in my mouth. Look at my eyes. Did we have another song reference spitting? I feel like we've been there before with spitting mouth. Was it last Missy week? Elliot. Did... Was it Missy Elliott? Or was it was it was it Missy Elliott, Nicki Minaj, uh, Post Malone, or Old Lucille Bogan? <laughs> <laughs> Is that something that people think's really hot now? Have I missed something? Is it me? Am I alone in that? Just thinking that's absolutely rancid as a thing to do, to spit in someone's mouth. Well, I mean, I if it's your kink, to do it, and it was weird. If it's your kink, then fair enough. But I didn't know it was a widespread kink. It was to spit in somebody's mouth. I dribble it in yeah. just to show her that I'm not comfortable doing it. See, it's so prevalent that at first I started to think, is it like a metaphor for coming in your mouth? Like, is it something for that? But no, it's just spitting. I, no, no, uh, it's, it's I, absolutely. Yeah. I can't think of anything worse, to be honest, than someone spitting in my mm. mouth. I certainly could not look at someone in the eyes. That's even worse, isn't it? In the mouth. But, you know, away from the disgusting stuff, back onto the sexual stuff. This pussy is wet. Come take a dive. A dive. dive. That's quite a wide vagina for a dive, isn't it? If you're diving in, you so, need a good surface pad so to make now sure he's you don't got miss. To bring, as well as the mop and bucket, he's got to bring like a load of plastic sheet in to make a run up at it. He's going <laughs> to get arrested before he's even got to her house. A little springboard <laughs> and, uh, and goggles. Just in case. Yeah. Just in case he goes to Lifeguard too low. sat there in the corner on one of the high chairs. <laughs> no bombing. <laughs> bombing? No bombing. <laughs> no if heavy dick... petting. It's a bit late for that. If a dick did dive, what kind of if a dick did dive, what kind of dive would a dick do? There you go. That's a tongue twister. I'll teach that to the kids when I'm at the school talk in a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> if you're lads, quick tip, you know, if you're trying to keep the wolf from the door, so to speak, then uh, just I always just think over repeatedly in my head, if a dick did dive, what kind of dive would a dick do? So I, do. I just keep thinking that. Sometimes you lose your erection, though, so it is a minefield. <laughs> think about that when people say, think about, like, your grandma or something to stop you from coming. A, you probably lose your erection, which would, would ruin the evening anyway. And B, what if you just come immediately and then you have to go, oh, God, time to go to the psychiatrist again, I think. What if you just think, right, I'm going to come here, grandma, and you just go, So, tie me up like I'm surprised. Let's roleplay I wear a disguise. 
Mustache and glasses. One of those. <laughs> <Hello. That's good. laughs> what would your disguise be if you if you wore one? You said, "Let's roll with it." That's where disguise. I've always been fascinated by that thing that couples do, where they like meet in a hotel bar but pretend that they're not together and like pretend they're meeting for the first time. There's like some hot exchange, but I don't know well, how you switch off mentally to knowing. Done that anyway. <laughs> Except she doesn't meet up with you at the bar. She meets up with another guy at the bar. Um, yeah, she sees me in the bar and just pretends she didn't see me. And then some guy comes over and has a drink with her. It's weird. Can't stand it. That's a different thing, Nick. So, but I said, how could you switch off mentally to that and pretend that you don't? Maybe you can. Maybe you can. Maybe I'll do it one day. Can't see it. Should we do it? <laughs> <laughs> um, what What would your role play name be? What name would you give me? What name and occupation would can you? I, can I be honest? What the first name that came into my head was when you said that? Federico. <laughs> All right. I went the other way. Occupation. What, what, what's, what's Exotic bird dealer. Oh, we're not far off. I was gonna be, I was gonna be a Neil Roberts. That's worrying if we're not lion tamer. <laughs> lion tamer? Did you say tamer? Lion tamer. Well, so Leon. Lion you said Leon tamer. You said Leon tamer. Like you, like Neil's yeah, French or something. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe your yeah, sexy just... role play name would be Neil. That's the first thing that came to mind. I am I'm I'm Neil. <laughs> Hello, I'm Neil. I'm Keith. <laughs> I don't know why Frederico was the first name that came into my mind. No, um, no. <laughs> all that Spanish you, you, you porn I've been pull, watching. You could pull Frederico, Frederico off, which is the, which well, is the aim what, for me. Well, it's along the same lines as the, the porn. So I, I reckon, yeah, time, I reckon disguise, yeah. Well, if it's natural disguise, though, I think I'd go as, uh, hmm. I'd go with, I'd go in like camouflage and tell us to walk through a park. Let's see how that goes. I'd dress as a burglar. <laughs> In like the stripy jumper and the swag bag and the little black eye mask. But she'll have called the police 15 minutes earlier and then you'll get arrested and he'll be like, I'm a girl from role playing, aren't we? And she'd go, No. And she'd call Federico. If you're already there, it'd really help. <laughs> Save everyone the hassle. Tie me up like I'm surprised, by the way. What does that mean? Tie me up like I'm surprised. We're getting very, we're getting dangerously close to rape fantasies here. But then you, you tie her up and then you walk in dressed as Hannibal Lecter. He's like, I don't like this role play. He's like, shut up. Too late at that point. Nice. <laughs> I I want you to park that Big Mac truck right in this little garage. She's going on Grace Jones on us here. With this one, like last week, isn't she? My yeah. first thought as well. Yeah. I don't think it's a little garage if I'm taking a dive and bringing no. them off and bucket. No. I don't think, I don't no. think it's little. No. By her own admission, I don't think that's a little garage. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think that's that, a... that was the point of this song where I was like, "Whoa, that's too much." That's, that's I'm not having that. That's like the one you have as a kid that you play with. That cars go around the track and it has multiple garages. That's that's what hers is, I reckon. Many things to do on it, many areas to to examine. <laughs> make it cream, make me scream, just like it's like the we're back to the beginning with cream. Hey. There we go. Hey. They they it all started. Well, it probably didn't start. It probably started in like nineteen twelve, based off our recent research, but. Uh, Grease Lightning was where we started with it. Uh, great I thought you stuff. described it to research. I see this like is a story from the Nick. government. Out in public, make a scene. I mean, public sex is usually hidden, isn't it? That's the kink, isn't it? The fact that's, that you, you might that's get that's caught. Yeah, so if you're just you like doing do it, it in the middle of nowhere. If you're doing it like in the, I don't know, Dublin portal to New York, I don't know what. Well, the ooh, topical, which I don't is know. pretty much the only thing that wasn't done there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. They've had to put barriers around it now, haven't they? Yeah. Why would you make a scene while you're having sex in public? Unless you just don't give a shit. Why not? Just do it. Just do it. Some people don't care, Dan. Some people don't care. No, they can't all be Berlin, Nick. Can't all be Berlin. No. Which <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure. So, which I'm pretty sure someone in England said in like 1940 as well, <laughs> for very different reasons. Get it back. <laughs> I don't cook. I don't clean. If she doesn't clean, does she mean she doesn't clean her vagina? Because if she does, I'm out. Well, is it vagina or is it because she says I don't cook, I don't clean, but let me tell you, I got this ring, AA. Arse ring? Arsehole ring? She's not clean her ass. What's the ring? Does she mean like marriage? She got, you'll marry, even though she don't cook and clean, she fucks so well that she can get, get married to a nice cock. This isn't marriage sex, damn. This, this isn't the <laughs> well, that's what I people. thought, but she's talking about rings, so she must either be talking about cock rings or arseholes. I don't know what. It's either wedding rings, cock rings, or arseholes. Oh, this is just... why you should register. <laughs> Despite not cooking and not cleaning, she still makes that paper. 
so she can buy herself a nice ring. Or she doesn't cook and doesn't clean, but some guy has bought the ring. I'm choosing. That's to what go I'm saying. Oh, I think so. I think some guy he's bought her the ring because even though well, she's cooking clean, I don't think it's necessarily a wedding ring or an engagement ring. Though I think it's just a. Just Normally, ice. when people say I got this ring, it's a wedding ring, isn't it? That's all I'm saying. I mean, in this in this world, yeah, it could I'm be sure. anything, but cock ring, arsehole, yeah. I mean, even if the sex is phenomenal, I think it should be a 50-50 split on the cooking and the cleaning. It'd have to be cock wobbling stuff to make me take on on board all of the cleaning and the cooking just because the sex is good. I'm happy to do my fair share, but I think in any healthy relationship, it should be a 50-50 split. Wouldn't you agree? It's using yes. sex as a weapon here, and I'm, I'm not yeah. on board with that. It's not cool. Not cool, Daniel. Or we, or we could just get a maid. Unless you probably shag her. Imagine the maid having to clean up that mess. Oh. You know, you can't have a woman <laughs> clean up that mess. <laughs> That's Not all maids want. are women, Nick. Ooh, sexist. <laughs> yeah, but they usually are. I think maid is a gender-loaded term, isn't it? Yeah, I don't Ooh, know. what's a male maid loaded. called? Megan butler the... is Meg... a male maid, surely. Yeah, but no, but a butler's there, lives there, doesn't he? He's there all the time, whereas a maid just comes like once a day or once a week and cleans up and leaves. So this next is where Megan the Stallion comes in, and it, it's not the one that made me laugh at eight minutes, but it's certainly one of my favourites. Gobble me, swallow me, drip down the side of me, yeah. Okay, let's take this in part, shall we? Let's start with gobble me. Gobble. A vagina, I wouldn't say you gobble it. You gobble a cock. You gobble a cock. Like, <laughs> but you don't gobble a Thanks. vagina. <laughs> yeah. You gobble a... a demonstration. <laughs> I don't think you'd be... Gobble in it, so that's weird. Like, gobble, 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 gobble. Yeah, so definitely doing it wrong. Like a turkey. I don't think that would work. So that's one check. Wrong. Done. Gobble me, yeah, done. Swallow me. Uh, Lady Jizz, then? Is that what she's referring to? It's less to class it up a bit than, than usual. <laughs> Lady Jizz sounds like a princess in a kid's cartoon, doesn't it? <laughs> well, Lazy Jid came down to the mother. <laughs> we must find a husband for Lady Jizz. <laughs> Ah, oh, Sir Gobble of Stoke would like to Stoke Stoke, <laughs> Stoke. The less no, re- least sir. regal place. I'll tell you what, if there was a Sir in Stoke, it would be Sir Gobble, <laughs> to be fair. He's the classiest he... gentleman in the Weatherspoons. <laughs> yeah, it'd be that one in Weatherspoons of his mates who never gets any action, but for some reason everyone calls him Gobble because he loves eating vagina. He hasn't been near one in ten years. I think he gobbles his kebabs. He, fi- he can finish three curries at Curry Club at Spoons. <laughs> he orders three curries. <laughs> Sir Gobble of Stoke and Lady Jizz, the Council of State Royals. <laughs> Drip down the side of me is my favourite bit of that. As in? That is more for the mop in then. She just does not give a shit about the upholstery. I know you wouldn't be doing it on the floor like Dr. Hook, would you? <laughs> be going into oh, the crevices oh, of the wooden flooring. <laughs> so what's the dribble? So does she literally mean there'd be so many fluids that it would be dribbling out and then because she's laying her back, it would be going down... The side of a groin and down on down the sides of a body and dripping down that way. Or is it coming out of her paws? Because she's just steaming with the stuff like a big spunk bubble. Oh god! This is this is very the seal bird gun again when she said pump me up like a balloon. She was getting pumped with jizz. This is actually pretty much the twenty first century version of of shave and dry, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Essentially, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. There you go. Symmetry. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Good for women, I guess, in a way. I'm not sure if it is. I think women would probably say it's liberating. I get the point. But also, in a way, I think, is it? Like, I don't know. I don't know where I stand on it. Good good luck to them, whatever they want. Whatever they want, they can have. They've been through enough. Quick jump out for you. Let it go inside of me. Yeah. Jump out? Before, that wasn't even a possibility. Because you couldn't no. get it out before you come, could you? But yeah, so jump out, that would be like backwards. You'd have to be jumping backwards. You can't be jumping <laughs> forwards out. So you'd have to go like... Like back, like 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 it like in Scooby Doo where the villain takes his mask off and they all go <laughs> jump back. They're going, I don't know how to. She's going, it's all right. The butler will catch you behind you. He's there. My hands are full of towels. Just for the towel. Down. <laughs> it's going to be slippy as well. You're going to drop him. Oh yeah, if you, you can't be. Jesus, you can't be jumping out of a vagina on that floor. Fucking hell. Covered in That's a good fluids. way to crack your head open, I reckon. <laughs> and the police will just be like, "We've got blood, jizz, lady jizz. I don't know what's going on." And she, she just <laughs> lay there on the bed, like just all done, and she'll clean up on aisle five. <laughs> well, she's uh, just 
<laughs> everything dripping out of her. Well, she wanted to do it in public. That could have been in the supermarket she was doing it. And then poor, <laughs> poor Neil that works on frozen foods will have to <laughs> go and mop it. The lion taming's not going well then, is it? <laughs> the Leon taming. I tell him where to put it, never tell him where I'm about to be. I mean, that's fair. I get that. She's basically saying, like many guy rappers is... is a fucking shagger, but I don't want anything to do with her, otherwise she's not tracing my... Plenty of guy rappers have said that kind of thing, so... Yeah. I get this no, song is I'm liberating in the way that, okay. that that male rappers continue to talk about women this way, and now they're calling talking about men that way. The problem yeah, is... It needed doing. Yeah, but here's my slight thing, and, and I could be wrong... <laughs> no, but my slight thing, and I could be wrong on this. When the male rappers objectify them, it's that they're, they're in a position of power. When the women objectify the men, the way they speak about themselves still puts the men in a pretty good position of power. Because I and here's the different reason why. Because I don't think any man, if a woman's going, come here and fucking fuck me, it's gonna be wet as fuck and you got I'm telling you what to do. No man's going, Oh, this is one of the worst experiences of my life. <laughs> like you know what I mean? It's gonna be a fucking great oh, night for no. him. So the unfortunately oh. if you're gonna do this, the men still win, unfortunately. I think I think I think you oh, cheat no, the language a bit and time it's... <laughs> Don't tie me to the bed and suck me uh, oh, no. Yeah. Oh, oh girl, girl. Oh. She's like, I'm not gonna. She's like, I'm not gonna tell you where I am tomorrow, but I'm gonna tell you where to put your dick. Oh no, that sounds like a terrible set of circumstances that I want nothing to do with. <laughs> She's oh, basically no, don't, don't, don't doing everything me. that don't edge me she's basically doing what <laughs> basically doing everything that the single man wants, filthy sex, and then be told to fuck off afterwards. It's the dream. <laughs> really playing into our hands with this liberation stuff. <laughs> but I do get it, and I'm on this side. <laughs> he then says, Talk your shit, bite your lip, ask for a car while you ride that dick, while you ride that dick. That is a good time to ask you, a man but... for anything. No, no, she means like to buy her a car. I mean, she's using sex to get stuff, which I mean, more women should employ that tactic because I think there's there's no man in the middle of sex if you ask him for something, he's going to agree to it. There's no man in the world that would that would say no, I'm not I'm not going to do that. I've lost a lot of good collectible Pokemon cards that way. Would you believe me? <laughs> the women in the collectible Pokemon cards community are savage. Let me tell you, <laughs> they'll do anything for a shiny Jigglypuff. And the Pokemon card. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to go down the shiny squirtle route, but you've already been to it. <laughs> but I think it's a good time to ask for a car as a woman. Yeah, why not? Uh, he's just in the middle of riding his date really well. Can you buy me a car? Almost certainly, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just at the vinegar I'll buy strokes, you too. So... You ain't never got a fuck him for a thing. She's changed the tune. A minute ago, she was saying fuck him for a thing, very specifically. She doesn't know what she wants. He already made his mind up before he came. I don't think he did. But I don't get the point here, because she, she's going about her using men for sets to get somewhere, but then she's saying, but you don't have to do that, because he's already made his mind up about what he's going to do before he comes. And I think you're right, I don't think he has, because I think if he was like, I'm definitely not going to buy her a car tonight, I'm definitely not going to buy her a car tonight. <gasps> I'll buy you any car you want. I think that'll be very much the... If I know men, and we're weak, I think that would be very much the <laughs> the situation there. Is that came came over or came in the come sense of the word? Come he came I or travel came? Sense. I, I was I was tempted by came over, but I think now I think it's maybe no. both. Actually, yeah, yeah, it is both. It's very ambiguous. Well done, excellent wordplay, Cardi. Yeah, I think it's actually might be come because the next line is now get your boots and your coat for this wet ass pussy. <laughs> I didn't think anything could top them up and book it. So I'm, yeah, so if he's come, if he's come, and then that's why it's so wet, so it's probably that. But but yeah, it's so wet now at this point that you need to wear a coat and boots. Imagine, I'm imagining one of those yellow uh, waterproof coats. Yeah, yeah, you like know that. what I mean? And, and wellies. Yeah. <laughs> like you've been at Glastonbury for a week. Imagine that. Fisherman. Imagine. I mean, yeah, yeah. You've been at sea <laughs> catching mussels. I, which I think came up in another song Trollermans for the bedroom yeah that'd be a good name for a um, condom brand wouldn't it that Trollerman Trollerman because the lady loves yeah catch milk fish. tray that's the milk <laughs> tray slogan <laughs> well turtlenecks I, I think if you're having to put on a coat yeah, imagine that. So she's put that before. So you come round, and she's like, oh, hot and heavy, and she's like, "This is going to be pretty wet." So I'm going to ask you. Brought the coat and bucket, uh, the coat and, and boots. And you're like, "Yeah." So he's naked, 
apart from the boots <laughs> and the coat open like a sort of fireman stripper, you know, where they just have the coat open and the and you know when you've just bitten the fong off. And uh, not speaking from experience, else. like a sort of like, oh, you know what? Like in the um, in the Jerry Halliwell video for Australian Men or something, I'm sure that's what the blokes are wearing: boots and open yellow raincoats and stuff like that. If you're wearing that, yeah, frosting in her, and then she's like, "I'm gonna blow," and you have to pull out quick and then close the coat, and it just like <laughs> splats on you, like a wave. But if he's got Think. the boots and the coat on, I mean, I don't want to speak for everyone, but. If I'm going at it at the rate that she's expecting him to go at, I'm going to get clammy. Full pelt, apparently. I'll be honest with you, Nick. If I'm having to bring... If I've had to use a mop and bucket, a raincoat, and boots, I'd be starting to question if some of this is piss. Because he knows what's coming out at this point. It's the fact that it's obviously a regular occurrence, her having to get men to bring boots and coat and mop and bucket. Why she not just has her own... own? <laughs> yeah, she has them there. They're over there all the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, go to the shame. Maybe... Go to the cupboard of shame and get them up and bucket and the raincoat out. He bought a phone just for pictures of this wet ass pussy. He didn't have a phone before. How old is he? He's either under the age of ten down. or over the age of sixty. So he's probably already got the coat and the boots if he's over sixty or under ten. Or under ten, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's so he's... many pictures of her quam that he's out to get another phone or he had like a sort of i don't know phone no like like a, a nokia or something but what he needed like to get an iphone because he needed the camera pixelation to be the best for her vagina you don't take a picture of her vagina on no you know low pixel camera you need you need it in all its glory and there's so many of them and he's access to the cloud can i post something to you that women don't find penises sexy men don't find visually Vaginas sexy. Only gay exactly. men find penises sexy, and lesbians find vaginas are sex sexy. No heterosexual person finds the other person's genitalia sexy. It's just uh, what it represents that's sexy. Do you think that's fair to say? I had exactly this in my notes. I have nothing to add. Nothing to add. It's true, and, and I think the, I assume the reason why lesbians and gay people like the gen do fancy genitalia is because they have it as well. Oh, this is it. This is it's one of the great philosophical questions of our time. We've gone all scientific yeah. again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's do a poll. <laughs> Listeners, so. look at notes at gmail.com. Tells your sexuality, tells us what you like. So, yeah, he's got, he's got another phone because Pussy's that good. Or it's either he needs a better camera or he's just he's got so many pictures of her that he needs a second phone with a, with a new uh, storage mm. space. Get a hard drive. Why does he need so many pictures of. I mean, if it was like Niagara Falls down there, I'd probably get a few snaps from my mates. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, but I'm imagining that she's sending him the pictures rather than him taking it in, in her gushing and, and going, quick, take a photo, take a photo. Yeah, but then she can she get that wet on her own? I assumed it was a sort of so. scenario. Do you mean she I mean, can turn it on like a tap? If it, like an overflowing bath? can, Cardi can. <laughs> I, bet she get, I bet she doesn't have to use much water. I bet she could just fill the kettle quite quickly then. Yeah, you boil it, it's all right, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> straight if you put that put that straight into the water filter, what comes out is clean. So fine, isn't it? That's that's a good idea. point actually. I might start get the old United yeah. Utilities bill down. What, what what would you what would you call it? A clitter filter. Mm. We've got a lot to take to the dragons, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, we got multiple things tonight. Shaggins den. <laughs> Pay my tuition just to kiss me on this wet ass pussy again. Good time to ask, but bordering on prostitution, now, I'd say, if he's paying you college tuition for it. Bordering on underage prostitution as well. A lot of girls go on OnlyFans to pay for the college tuition these days, don't they? Or they get a sugar daddy or whatever. That's that's one of the it's things. The bordering, now, though, it's very very close to because it. it in the I don't make the rules, Nick. If it's over, it, it, if it's over eighteen, it's, it's, it's fine. Not my, rules, Not my rules, Nick. Not my rules. So now make it rain if you want. <laughs> Uh, now make it rain if you want to see some wet ass pussy. Sounds like the pussy's doing all the raining already. To be quite honest with you, I don't think, I think it's already taken care of. I mean, that is just straight up prostitution. Then, if you're standing over just putting wads of like yeah, that yeah. sort of thing where they flow the money out, like making it rain, yeah. I mean, that is just straight up prostitution. Just you're not giving her the money in a lump at the start. You're giving it a while. You're having sex. Um, it's like nervous, like oh, and she's like, yeah, and she's like, have you got pay? I always take the payment first. Fair enough, fair enough. And then we'll we'll get comfortable. And you give her the lot of money and then go, actually, you've seen the money now. You know I've got it. Can I just sort of throw it over you while we're having sex? That must be all right, mustn't it? Look, I need a hard hitter. I need a deep stroke. Fair enough. Hard hitter. Hitting that vaginal backboard, as it were. 
by the sounds of it. Slam dunk. Slam dunk. I need a Henny drink. I need a weed smoker. I don't think that combination is going to be able to produce the pounding that you desire, to be honest. Brandy and weed. No, I'll give it a go. I don't think, I think, I don't think we, I think weed makes a certain type of sex, but not an aggressively physical one. Oh, no, definitely not. No, no, no. no, Because that's what, that's what she's after here. She wants a pounding. So I don't think you get a pounding on weed. No, the Henny maybe. Henny always gets a nod in these songs, doesn't it? Because of the whole, the thing that I said that time about the, the black, the black community and why. I think I said once why. Not a garden snake. I need a king cobra. Bordering on ripping off Nicki Minaj here, if such a thing was possible. Very much so. Imagine that copyright call from the lawyers. Like, hi, I represent Nicki Minaj. Like, yeah. She did a little song called Anaconda about big dicks. Yep. Uh, I think uh, you referenced there, not a garden snake. I need a king cobra when talking about sex. Seems a bit similar. You can't have the copyright laws on snakes as dicks. With a hook in it, hope it lean over. I think, yeah, what does, I don't know what that means. We we could, well, we could ask LNL. Doctor Doctor Hook to discuss that, couldn't we? So Hook, that I mean, right if there, anyone's yeah. going to know, Doctor Hook yeah, is going to know. Doctor Doctor Hook, have you with a hook in it? I hope it lean over. Yar, I lean over me ship with me hook, <laughs> but I don't quite know what that means in a a bedroom sense. But uh, but I have got a raincoated boots if that helps, and because it sounds like this will be as as wet as a, a wet as a fisherman's shoes by the time you're done with it. Yeah, not the foggiest what that means, to be honest. We got we've a hook in it over it lean over. He got some money, then that's where I'm headed. Pussy A1, just like his credit. So her her pussy is as good as his credit rating is. So he's got A1, which is the top credit rating in America, and she's got A1 pussy. What kind of pussy would your credit rating get, Nick? Well, Dead crack whore. Kind of right? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they've got left in the morgue. You know, cold <laughs> cases from like 40 years ago. I'll speak to my good friend Jimmy about getting some of that for you. You can get it here, whatever your credit is. No credit check required. <laughs> now then, now then. I don't do credit checks, that's for slags. What does that advert? Jimmy's morgue vaginas, no credit check needed. That's for slags. There's catchphrase at the end, that's for, sl- that's for slags. We're moving swiftly on. He got a beard while I'm trying to wet it. I'm listening. Fair enough. Fair enough. Listening. Easily done, really. If you've got a beard and it's wet, you know, easily done. Yeah, yeah. Easily done. If, yeah, you, yeah. if your beard's not wet, you're probably doing it wrong. Yeah, I had a bit of a thicker beard a couple of weeks ago and I could barely have a coffee without it getting drenched. So never mind a <laughs> yeah. super wet vagina. <laughs> Which was a working title for this song. Super wet vagina. <laughs> so the next the next line is one that I referenced earlier that I, when I, I laughed for four minutes and then went, what does that mean? I'll say that in a second. I let him taste it, and now he's diabetic. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. I've been trying to think about it all day, and I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Because you get diabetes from eating too much, what, sugary stuff? Too much, yeah. what do you get, crap? Eating too much crap? And how much sugary stuff is she eating that her juices taste <laughs> sweet? Tastes like sugar. She's pumping it into him. Imagine that, you go to the doctor, and it's like, you're going to have to take your leg off. What? Yeah, diabetes. You're on, you've had 24-hour onset diabetes. It's never happened before. But what? He was like, you must have eaten a lot of chocolate in the past 24 hours. He's like, no. He's like, what did you do? I just I went down on uh, Cardi B. Oh, well. <laughs> well <laughs> the third one this week. We call that Dia Cardi <laughs> hey! That's what the whole show has been leading up to. Yeah. Wrap it up. After That's two that... episodes we've <laughs> That's what I specialise in, actually, as a, as a doctor there, the diacardi BTs. I bet they have a support um, group. <laughs> I'll send you over a send you over a semen with a mopping bucket. Okay, well, yeah, I, I have no idea what that means. It, it just means that she's going to jizz in you so much and it's going to have so much bad stuff in it that you're going to get diabetes, I assume. That's all I can take from that. It's basically a line that's just there to be vile and mean in very little, isn't it? Like, you know what I mean? Like, the rest of it's like, yeah, the rest of it's like a bit liberating about women or whatever. That's just a vile line that makes absolutely no sense. (sighs) I don't think that's an A1 pussy, to be honest. I, she says, I don't want to spit. I want to gulp. Good on you. Good on you. I mean, gulp implies a lot. Like, gulp, gulp, gulp. But I don't know. Most oppressively so. Yeah, yeah. So again, the man kind of wins again. An oppressive amount of jizz. Yeah, I mean, she's fucking a guy that's obsessed with porn. She's just laying out all of his dreams, really, isn't she? <laughs> I mean, between her songs and porn, 
the Eve of today are really going to have a shot when they actually have sex. I want to gag. I want to choke. Again, fair enough. Your preference. Not choke entirely, though, obviously. Not to death. A death by cock choke. I mean, see how it goes. I can't move. I can't move. You asked for it. <laughs> Swallowing it's it like a, a snake. A on a fucking anaconda. This line similarly made me a bit chuckly and not know what to say. I want you to touch that little dangly thing that swing in the back of my throat. Or what can you say to that? Tonsils. No, nah, you know, she means that little, it's called like the, it's got, it's got a name. It's that little dangly. Is it? Uvula? Uvula to you? I don't know what, I don't know what it's called, but it's that little thing that, hello, it's not your tonsils, is it? It's that thing for your tonsils at the back of your throat, isn't it? It's the uvula. It is the uvula. uvula. Yeah. Which sounds like it should be part of the vagina, really. Do you think there's a cock spread, that could touch uvula. reach that? Because I'll be honest, it's not mine. Unless she's got a very small mouth. I'll be lucky to touch the tongue, to be honest. Nothing will surprise me in this song after that. She could say, fuck my mouth till I get throat cancer. And I wouldn't be shocked. I really wouldn't. I really wouldn't be shocked at this point. What could she say? That'd, that'd be a bit tame. At this point. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. like she's toned it down. <laughs> my head game is fire. Punani Dasani. I know what Punani water. is and what head game is, but yeah, water. Actually, didn't Dasani like... get taken off the market because it gave cancer? She has said it. I think it did. I think it did. I think it did. Yeah. I'm so, good at I'm good at giving blowjobs. Vagina, it's just, bottled water is how I've read that. It's just water. It's just it's just how it got withdrawn from the UK. Coke, Coke made it water. I can't find anything else in the right, yeah. But oh no, well she's saying it's wet, isn't it? So it's water. It's filled with fluid. So it's a punani dasani. It's going in dry and it's coming out soggy, soggy, soggy. What soggy. a word. And people think some of the I things we say is grim. I've said SOG before, yeah. <laughs> Low SOG levels, whatever it was, levels of SOG. Now she's saying it. See, we're not the discussing, we're not the discussing ones. No, no. I ride on that thing like the cops is behind me. You are. Imagine that as a police chase on the news. Like a sexy OJ. <laughs> Just, what? You know. Are you saying that OJ wasn't sexy at all? God, you had a Kardashian <laughs> involved, Dan. Come on. <laughs> police, what, what uh, police. Police. Days? The police are on Highway 95, currently five cars in pursuit of what appears to be a female rapper riding a large penis. <laughs> Excuse me, what was that? Uh, she's riding a large penis. We need all vehicles present on the scene. A, a, a large penis? I just hope they, I just hope they don't do a, a view from the chopper, because that could be, uh, that could be fucking horrible. I, I mean, so with the way this is, she really describes... Mean. So the way she's described the men that are coming around earlier, then the good chance the cops will be coming in through the door while she's riding him, to be honest with you. So I don't think she has to worry about that. Already under surveillance. <laughs> I spit on his mic and now he's trying to sign me, woo. So his label or his pimp agency? Both. Both, yeah. Usually, actually, that so has happened. all intents so. and purposes, it's the same thing. <laughs> it used to happen in the 70s. Days. Yo, girl, I want to sign you to my label. Next thing, you're sucking dick in an alleyway. And you didn't know what happened. You just want to go back home to Look, Ohio. Looking at you, like <laughs> That was New York in the 70s, kids. <laughs> Your honor, I'm a freak bitch. Handcuffs, leashes, switch my wig, make him feel like he's cheating. I think I need more than a wig to make it feel like I was cheating on my girlfriend. Like, she just put a different wig on. How could he make it seem like you were cheating? I guess she'd, she'd just let you call her by another name and keep telling you that you're cheating on it. You, you, your girlfriend puts on a wig, ch changes the name, and then goes, oh, I bet I'm better than your girlfriend. And for men, that'll be enough. Because again, we're weak. That's all it takes. We're the weaker side of the species, <laughs> yeah. That's all it takes. <laughs> I think a bit more than a wig. Put him on his knees, give him something to believe in. Oh, Cardi. I'll tell you what, that one made me blush. That was the one where I went like... Hello. I'm sure she'll bring it down soon enough, though. Oh, yes, there she, there, she, there she has. I think Charles Manson used to do a similar thing, actually. Never lost a fight, but I'm looking for a beating. Beating again. Bringing it down to abuse again. Just, someone's got a fetish. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. In the food chain, I'm the one that eat you. If he ate my ass, he's a bottom feeder. I mean, technically, yeah. <laughs> technically, yeah, I guess. If he eats your ass, he's a bottom feeder, yeah. I mean, there's nothing... I mean, she, she means it in a power that. sense, obviously, but, you know. I love the phrase eating Genuinely ass. Genuinely prepared. Like it's a new food craze. Like, are you on, what are you on? I'm, I'm on Atkins. What are you on? Oh, oh, I'm eating ass. Have you heard about it? The ass diet. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's 20 minutes of exercise and then just ass for, for dinner and rice cakes for, for lunch. It's <laughs> easy. <laughs> Drink your own piss. <laughs> no carbs. 
Big D stand for big demeanor. I could make you bust before I ever meet you. That would be impressive. Although, as a female so, woman that's in the media, I reckon she's made, made a lot of men bust before <laughs> she's never met, to be quite honest with you. Judging by the music videos strategy, I, th I think, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's all about it's all about big dick energy now, isn't it? What's the opposite? Like sm small penis enthusiasm. Like, what's, <laughs> what's, where's it? If I don't hang, then he can't bang. You can't hurt my feelings, but I like pain. If you fuck me and ask whose is it, when I ride the dick, I'm a spell my name. That's a new that's a new no, sort of sticks and stones that's... poem for kids, isn't it? You know what I mean? Like these kids sit you down and she's like, I'm be I'm being bullied, your teenage daughter. I'm being bullied because I'm a virgin. Well, honey, there's an old saying, if I don't if it don't hang, then he can't bang. You can't hurt my feelings, but I like pain. If you fuck me and ask whose is it, when I ride the dick, I'm gonna spell my name. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> well, do you reckon you, you could guess a word they were spelling out? Like, wait, say she's on top of you, riding you with no, a vagina. No. Do you reckon if she I was like, I'm going to I'm gonna spell a word? Oh, she'd be like, she, I could get an S, I reckon. I could get an S. That might be it, though. S. No, but I might think it's a Z from my angle. Uh, maybe a T I could get, because it'd just be like, back, left, right. Is, 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 she, is she flipping the words, though, for my... Uh... Is she, is she doing it. them upside up? Because 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 an A to her won't be an A to me because I'm uh, basically right. No, yeah. So she's for an A. She'd she'd go back and then down and then across. So it yeah. spells it out for you. Sorry, love, but you're doing them backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Adult Scrabble. Ooh. I'm talking wap wap wap. That's some it's very close to an Italian slur. This song, isn't it? I'm talking wap wap yeah. wap. That's some wet ass pussy macaroni in a pot. That's some wet ass pussy. What that macaroni in a pot? That's some wet... why macaroni in a pot? Like because so that's a well known. That's a fairly well known thing that's seen online. It's like when people are asking for like sex tips on how to like finger off up the girlfriend. It'll be like, well, if you're doing it right, it should sound like you're stirring macaroni. <laughs> you're stirring macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Like, that is it should sound like, like you're stirring macaroni and cheese. It should sound like you're stirring oh, macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Genuinely, tomorrow, make yourself some macaroni and cheese for your lunch <laughs> and give it a stir and give me a text and let me know what you think. Genuinely. And then to see it out, she says, there's some whores in this house, 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 there's some whores. Yeah, I'd have to agree that there's some whores in this house based off the evidence that you provided throughout this song. If you've enjoyed the show, then please like, rate, review and follow to help push us up the charts. Get in touch with us at any of the links in the episode description or email liquorandlyrics at gmail.com. Well, that was absolutely, horrific. Absolutely. One of the worst pieces of art ever created. Do you want to hear what song we're doing next week, Nick? Yes, let's spin the wheel of mayhem. Do it. Well, we're entering our first phase of Euros content. It's Euros fever. Will England win it? Probably not. Oh, well, definitely not. But anyway, we can enjoy it because we're going to do a football classic song and one of the first singles that I bought when in secondary school. Uh, it's Ant and Dex, We're on the Ball. Oh, I'm sad to think that we will get something sexual out of that now, actually. I mean, Car <laughs> Cardi B was on the ball. From what, from what she was saying, she got right down yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. down. Yeah. Those balls be wet, boy. So yeah, well, that was. That was... <laughs> it's not a se it's not a sexual tournament, Nan. <laughs> That's a harrowing, harrowing song. Oh, I'm ready to go have a shower. Right. right, we will be back next week. That that has been our critical and scientific appraisal of Cardi B's what. Back next week with Ant and Deck. Our Euro specials begin in earnest, which we'll probably give up on right after two weeks when we get knocked out and don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> Say goodbye to everybody, Dan. Bye. Bye. Bye.